Yes, of course you can, silly. You can still buy Final Cut Pro and there are a few options. I'll show you how to buy Final Cut Pro, how it stacks up against the competition, and stick around till the end because I'm going to show you how to get a steep discount on Final Cut Pro and how to get it for free. Let's buy the farm. So you can buy Final Cut Pro right from Apple. If you go to the Final Cut Pro homepage, you can click on buy here and it will take you to the App Store. Yeah, let's open up the App Store and you'll see right here, you can buy and install Final Cut Pro. I've already bought it, so it just says update, but from this page, it'll have a buy button. You can also go to the App Store and just search for it, Final Cut Pro. And from here, you can buy it. And in my case, you can update it. So what do you get with Final Cut Pro? Let's take a look. This is Final Cut Pro right here. And over here on the upper left area or corner, this is the browser. So this is where we organize our projects. And then our videos that we have, our pictures, and our songs and audio. Final Cut Pro comes with a bunch of sound effects and songs that you can use in your projects as well. Down here in the bottom is the timeline. This is where you build and make your video. You have different clips, video clips in here. And then right up here, this is the viewer. This is where you see your video that you're making. Let's check it out. So we got this couple, they're on a romantic date and I can move clips around. I can shorten clips or make them longer. One thing that's cool about Final Cut Pro is it has what's called the magnetic timeline. So if I click on this clip and go to move it, all the other clips move around and make space for it and everything snaps into place. This makes for really fast editing. Final Cut Pro also comes with a ton of built-in titles. We can see right here we have a Final Cut Pro title that I added. And then you can also see under this on the clip, I've got this blur effect. Final Cut Pro comes with a ton of built-in effects that you can use on your videos. It also comes with a ton of transitions right here. Here's a transition in action. Oh, so sweet. So how does that compare to the competition? Let's take a look at Adobe. Adobe Premiere Pro is $20.99 per month, which comes out to about $252 a year. So DaVinci Resolve has a free version, but if you want the full version, you have to pay $2.95 for it. And like Final Cut Pro, you just pay once. Then we have Vegas Pro. This is $35 a month or $240 a year. Adobe, DaVinci, Vegas, Final Cut, they all have very similar features and do similar things. Let's take a look at how that pans out over a few years. So if you were to buy Final Cut Pro, your first year it's $300 and then it's just $300 for the rest of your life. Premiere Pro though is a monthly and so is Vegas Pro. So you can see over 10 years, you're spending a lot for that software. Final Cut and DaVinci are about the same over the 10 year period. Some people wonder if Final Cut Pro will go subscription. A little while ago, this blogger found out that Apple added rental of software to their patent. This was a couple years ago, but currently Final Cut Pro is just a one-time purchase, but some possibilities are they might offer a one-time payment for lifetime or pay monthly for Final Cut Pro on the Mac, or maybe they'll do a software as a service, or maybe they'll keep it as is, you pay once for it, and then for special add-ons or more power or other features, you pay a monthly price for those. But again, that's all speculation. Now, Apple just just released Final Cut Pro for the iPad a couple days ago, and it does have a monthly or yearly subscription option. And I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute, but first I gotta know, am I doing a good job? Is this video helpful? Will you let me know? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. All right, here's Final Cut Pro for iPad. They just released it a few days ago, and you can do a free trial for one month right here, and then pay $5 a month for Final Cut Pro on the iPad or $50 per year. That's a pretty good deal. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to test it out. So you're ready to buy Final Cut Pro, but maybe you're not sure if your computer can handle it. Check this out. Here are the minimum system requirements for Final Cut Pro. And don't worry, I'll link to all of these web pages in the description below. You need Mac OS 12.6 or later, at least four gigabytes of RAM. And I'll give you my recommendations in just a minute. You'll need one gigabyte of video RAM for 4K editing, 3D titles, and so on. And then on your hard drive, you need at least five and a half gigabytes of space to install the app and all of the music and sound effects and additional content that it comes with. Now, I recommend starting with eight gigabytes of RAM. That's enough to get you started, but also a little bit of room to grow if you decide to do more and more video editing. If you do regular video editing, then I recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM. And if you do video editing full time, go for 32 gigabytes of RAM or more. Now, if you wanna test out Final Cut Pro before you buy, you can. They have a trial, and I'll link to this page down below in the description. It's the full Final Cut Pro, and you get to try it for 90 days. There are no other restrictions. And if you're ready to buy Final Cut Pro and you're a student or a teacher, then I've got some good news for you. Check this out. 
Apple has this Pro Apps Bundle for Education. You get Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, which is audio editing software. You get Apple Motion, which allows you to make motion graphics like titles and effects and transitions. And you get Compressor, which goes with Final Cut Pro and is great for exporting videos. And then you get this live performance app called MainStage. And you can get all of that for $200. Not a bad deal, right? All right, once you've got Final Cut Pro up and running, you're going to encounter the magnetic timeline. It is awesome, but for some people it's confusing and hard to learn and they wanna turn it off. I don't recommend that you turn it off. Instead, use these eight tools to learn how to use the magnetic timeline. Click here to check it out.